This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing a small little video on the Anchor Make filament change. I've seen some posts online which are debatable on the methods of people changing filaments, especially when it goes from changing from one color to the other. So I figured I would do a video on how to do quick, simple, easy filament change without having to take anything apart or get into any weird, uh, dirty, messy situations trying to take the filament or burning yourself or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and start by turning my printer on. Alexa, turn on Anchor Make. So I currently have some fi uh, blue filament inside my Anchor Make. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it to something completely different. Now, for all of you watching, listen to this. Yes, something is wrong with my extruder. I've already spoken to Anchor. They're sending me an entire new unit right here. Um, the fan is obviously defective. So for those of you that are watching this, that's not normal if you have this issue. So I'm going to go ahead and start by doing a preheat here. So I'm going to preheat it to 220 and 60 degrees for the bed. You don't really need to heat up the bed, but I'll try my best here to show the screen. What I'll do is I'll actually just take a small video with my phone and throw that into this video. Alright, so while it's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and choose a filament that's a completely different color than what I currently have in there right now. So, I do have a lot of filament. I'm going to post a picture here showing everybody the amount of filament I have. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to red. So I normally... Uh, seal all my filaments inside a vacuum sealed bag with a couple of the uh, uh, little uh, decadent packs here. So I got red filament and this one is Everyone. I usually go with Everyone, Esan, Overture, Ceramic and this one here for the first time ever I tried Amazon 3D and it did a good job. So we're at about 211 degrees Celsius. So there's two ways to do this. I usually push on this and pull, which is a little bit more intrusive, or you can just go into your settings here. And I'll film this portion with my phone. Control, extrude, 100 mils. I set that to 220 and then retract. So now, you can see the filament retracting slowly. And if your filament isn't retracting, feel free to give it a little tug. Like, see how easy it's coming out now? So now my blue is completely retracted out. So I'm just going to wind this up. Make sure you do this very, very tightly. And you use the little holes they give you here, or you're going to get tangled filament. So something like that. So, see, and this is the PLA. I will pack that away shortly. So next I'm gonna take my red filament, place it on the spool at the top, show everyone. And then I am gonna feed it through. So I always cut this here, uh-oh. I always, this is not good. I always cut this cleanly here before putting it away. And I suggest you get into the habit of doing that as well. So I'm just going to wind it up here quickly because I don't want all this loose filament. This is how tangles are caused. Basically, I'm going to feed this through like that. And you want to feed it all the way through until you hit a hard spot. So from here, you're still in your settings on the printer. So I'll just use my phone for this portion. And then this is the part where you want to change that to 200 mils. And then hit extrude. 
So as I'm extruding, I want to push the filament slowly. And then you can see it's starting to change color right off the bat. So now it's fed through completely. I don't need to push anymore. And now it's going to the red. So now I can go ahead and hit stop here. And now I'm ready for a print. So that's basically it. Simple as that. Now when I go to print, it's going to give me red right off the bat. So that's basically it. The uh, red filament is in now. There's no more blue filament. So now I can go ahead and proceed and start a print. So I'm going to go ahead and do a print here just to show everyone that it's just the red filament. I'm starting one of my prints. And I'll just zoom in on the build plate here. So what I do to the build plate is I always scrape it clean from the previous print. Like so. Now I print a bunch of these shovels because they melt pretty quick. These shovels are available on the Anchor Make uh, built-in files. Then I always spray with isopropylene alcohol. Give it another scraping like so. And I give it one more spray. And then I use a clean microfiber cloth to give it a wipe. And then just to be safe, to make sure there was no oils on the microfiber cloth, one last spray. Yes, I go through a lot of isopropylene alcohol, but all my prints stick, so I'm not worried. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my extra light here. And I'll speed this part of the video up. So while the print goes here, I'll mention that you can pause the printer while you're do printing mid-print and do exactly what I just did without having to heat everything up. And you can extrude the filament, so you can see the red's coming out. You can extrude the filament until you get the different color, and then you do a color change live mid-print by just hitting pause and following the steps I just showed you as well. Very easy, very simple. Anyone can do it. So I've basically just proven that the filament changed. There's no blue from the last print. That's how easy it is. If you have any questions or comments at all, leave them below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. That's all for now. Make sure you subscribe to my memberships to watch live videos and future videos that are members only. Mike Bot out.